Coach Beasley. So one and zero on the day. I, t I watched that duel. Uh -huh. You guys look pretty good. Crazy duel. Crazy Ups duel. And downs. Overtime win at fifty-seven. Yes, sir. Right. He beat us two weeks, a couple weeks ago at Navy Classic. And I, I like a lot of the other stuff I saw. Um, listen, I, you're one eighty-four pounder. Mm -hmm. That guy's tough. Yeah. How can, he, he might got tacked, but he might have blown his knee out, <laughs> and he finished the match. Yeah, yeah, no, I mean, uh, yeah, I said it to the team after. He did something that was really hard. Uh, duels on the line, and uh, we needed him to save some points, and it was his decision whether he finished or not at that point. Well, you know, we'll see where he is. We'll get him checked out. He's, he's going to sit out tonight. We got another duel on Sunday, so we'll see where he is for that. But um, whatever it is, he said, I'm going to finish this match for the team. You know, at first it looked a little bleak, and he said, I'm going to finish the match for the team, and he figured it out, and he finished the match for the team. You guys were your six and one so far going to the break, right? Yes, sir. With two left, this one, and then what's Sunday? Buffalo. Buffalo. So we could be looking at potentially eight and one. That's the goal, right? right that's now. you know, and Appert told me that he was like, "We want to go eight and one into break, and that's a big goal of ours right now." And everybody's so March focused, but eight and one going into the goal in, into the break. I mean, that's, that's a huge that's, step for a program. Yeah, right. We won nine a, matches last year, nine and seven last year. First time we had a winning record in 13 years or something, um, you know, and so to have nine, to have eight wins going into breaks, pretty big. Yeah, I mean, when you look at program changers, that, that, that right there, that's how the steps get built, right? Yeah. You remember two years ago at the EWL when you guys wrestled your tails off? Yeah, yeah. Ibrahim stole a spot. He stole a bunch of spots. 49, you stole a spot. Vospel stole a spot. You stole a bunch of spots. You yeah. qualified three guys. Yeah. yeah. Remember that? I, I, I'll never forget it. We didn't have anybody that was supposed to go. We ended up getting three. We stole three spots, basically. And then last year, we got three. And that was the most in 18 years. And then last year, we got three. And I thought all three deserved to go. So right. now we got to get a lot more. 74, huge win for you guys. Yeah. Huge dominating win, right? Yeah, he looked really good. You know, he's had some matches. He's had some moments this year. Um, you know, he started off at Journeyman Classic. He went 0-4 on the day. Had a heck of a bracket. Everybody in that bracket's good. Top 30 guy. He went 0-4. And, uh, you know, since that point, he's, you know, he's, what, 10 and... 10 and 7 or something, but four of his losses were at one day, you know, and you take that out and it looks like he's doing pretty dang good this year. Uh, but he's coming along. So just a real unique day, not a real typical day that I don't know if you're training for anything because the <laughs> NCAA tournament doesn't rear no. uh, a noon. No. Well, no, it kind of does. A little bit. A little bit, but yeah. then there's travel, right? The yeah. travel, that's, that's the thing that's kind of not it, but like it's a tough day for your guys. Yeah. You wrestled at noon in the bubble at Edinburgh. Yep. You get in a bus, you drive an hour and a half over here to Cleveland State. There's a high school match going on. What do you want the guys to get out of this day? Adversity. We've had a lot of adversity. Uh, some things happen. Uh, personally, uh, going in, there was you know, some snow and stuff, and, and there's some adversity that I don't want to hit on right now. But some guys are going through some adversity with uh, things outside of wrestling, outside of their control um, that they're dealing with right now. And uh, they, they are hitting adversity today in a lot of different ways behind the scenes. And uh, they're going to have some more adversity here, you know, just a little bit different lineup tonight with uh, one guy sitting out. But it is what it is, you know. Uh, in life, you're going to be given some some crazy hands, some adversity, and you got to be ready to roll the punches. And, you know, the biggest thing is um, whatever life throws at you, you got to be ready for it. The same thing in, in wrestling. Holidays coming up. You know, obviously, there's Scuffle, there's Midlands, there's South Beach Jewels. Mm -hmm. There's all this different stuff. Do you guys take it off or do you go to one of them? We go to uh, Southern Scuffle. So you make the toughest. You make the toughest one, of course. What, what would I expect? I guess, right? Well, yeah, they get a short break because uh, you know we're at, we're at it Sunday, the twenty second. We're back first and second, so they've got a, a short break. Um, we're gonna turn around and, and wrestle again. You know, um, that's that's one thing about this team is they're wrestlers. They like it. You know, they they want to be competing. They don't want to be sitting around on break. They don't want a long break. Uh, but we got a special group because they're they're into it. They enjoy it. All right. So you guys might be up soon here. You got anything else for me? Be in common. All right, hey, thanks for the time. Good luck, and uh, I'm, I'm ready for a hard-fought duel, Coach, all right? Absolutely, it'll be good.